In today's video, we will explore the Steeler 59S long range yacht in depth. Crafted with exceptional Dutch quality standards, this CE Category A liveaboard explorer yacht is a model of seaworthiness, stability, and functional design. From the intricacies of its handcrafted custom interior to the durability of its round bilge hull and unique S line bow, we will dive into the technological features that set this yacht apart. So let's take a closer look and understand why the Steeler 59S is the epitome of a reliable all season explorer vessel. If you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let's see how quickly we can get to 50,000 subscribers. This striking Steeler 59S liveaboard explorer yacht stands impressively in the water with a length of 18 meters or just over 59 feet, providing a significant presence. Her breadth spans 5.5 meters or approximately 18 feet, contributing to the vessel's stability in different sea conditions. Crucial for underbridge clearances and maneuverability in various waterways, she has a draft of 1.5 meters and an air draft facilitated by a retractable radar mast of 3.95 meters. With a weight of 44,000 kilograms or 44 tons at 50% load, this vessel has been designed for optimal buoyancy and sea keeping abilities. Constructed from massively strong steel, her round bilge hull design not only makes her tough and dependable, but also enhances performance, comfort and safety, reinforcing her suitability as a long range CE category A yacht. As we enter the spacious cockpit through the access gate on the starboard side of the transom, you'll immediately notice how roomy and spacious the cockpit is. There is loads of storage space and we will have a look at what is on the other side of some of these hatches in a minute. In the cockpit area on the port side, you'll find the stainless steel sink unit outfitted with a one handle mixer tap for hot and cold water control. Adjacent to it, there's ample storage space to stow away your boating essentials. As you can see, there are many comfortable seating areas where you can take in the breathtaking views while you are underway or alongside. Let's check out the upper deck, starting from the starboard side deck. Note the flush access gate expertly crafted into the bulwark. The wide side decks equipped with flexi teak make moving around the upper deck a breeze. The handrails made of 42.5 mm stainless steel tubes enhance the safety on board when moving around the upper deck. Let's quickly peek into the saloon area and helm station by peering in through the starboard access door to the pilot's house. The access door is actually made from aluminium and comprises four fold sections with insulated glass. Now let's head up onto the foredeck. Can you guess which marina I'm in? Let me know in the comments. This raised section of the foredeck means there is lots of headroom below the deck, which you will see in a minute. These sun pads are easy to remove when not in use and two skylights provide natural light to the living areas and can also be used for ventilation. As we move forward onto the bow, you've probably noticed this silver box. Hidden beneath the stainless steel cover is a helm station, complete with the throttle control levers for the twin engines, a Simrad multifunction display, controls for the bow and stern thrusters, and controls for the rudders. What an amazing vantage point to sit and control the boat from. I have not seen a setup like this before on a boat and I absolutely love it. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. When it comes to the deck gear and anchor setup, there is an electric windlass system coupled with a substantial 60 meter galvanized 13 millimeter anchor chain. At the end of this chain, there is a 50 kilogram polished stainless steel anchor. As we spin around and face aft, we get a good view of the forward seating area with, of course, that concealed helm station to starboard. And we also get a chance to appreciate the sleek profile of the superstructure on this stunning boat. One standout feature of the Steeler 59S is the expansive double glazed uninterrupted glass pane adorning the forward section of the pilot's house. Its design devoid of any stanchions gifts the helm an unparalleled and unobstructed panoramic view, truly elevating your navigating experience. We'll step inside shortly and I'll show you more. Casting our gaze aloft from this perspective, we're treated to a commanding view of the well-equipped radar mast. It hosts a range of top-tier navigation aids, 
including a high-resolution SIMRAD radar, a FLIR camera and a suite of radio and GPS antennas. Let's head back aft towards the cockpit. The fuel, fresh and black water tank access points are recessed into the superstructure. The polyethylene freshwater tank has a capacity of around 1500 litres and is installed in front of the boat under the cabin floor. The vessel has a black water capacity of 500 litres. I'll talk more about the fuel capacity when we get in the engine room. The water pressure system on this boat has a capacity of around 55 litres per minute. As we enter the cockpit from the port side again we get a great perspective of the arrangement of the seating area. Before we go into the saloon let's head over to the deck hatch on the starboard side and take a look under there. The hydraulic struts on this hatch make it incredibly easy to open and close with one hand. Underneath we get a great view of the Williams 285 jet tender that is stowed in the garage. A bit later on in the video I'll show you the hydraulic door lifting that gives you access into the tender garage and I'll also show you the access door that takes us into the lazarette. It's easy to forget when you look at spaces like this on board this boat that you're on a boat that's 59 feet LOA. As mentioned, this hatch is really easy to operate thanks to the hydraulic struts. Underneath the L-shaped seating area is this handy stowage area for ropes. Now we've finished having a look around the upper deck, I think it's time to head inside and take a look at the huge saloon and the helm station before heading down into the accommodation areas. This solid overhang from the coach roof also provides excellent shade out here. Heading through the sliding doors we enter the saloon. Over on the starboard side is an L-shaped seating area with a table. This Steeler 59S is fitted with a Kubola HR400 heating system and it controls not only the hot water supply but also the underfloor heating too. In the centre of the saloon is this island feature with two bar stools. Over on the port side is the galley. It comes complete with everything you'd expect to find on a long range liverboard explorer. Included are a Kurian work surface, stainless steel sink unit, one handle mixer tab, four ring ceramic Siemens stove, a cooker fan, a 130 litre fridge with freezer and a Siemens combi oven microwave. The large insulated partially curved double and frameless windows in the saloon give great views of the surrounding seascape. The floor in the saloon is also soundproofed. Remember all of the floor space throughout the boat is actually heated. Check out the indirect lighting which despite it being midday still gives you an idea of what the ambience must be like after the sun has set. To port of the helm station is this cosy raised U-shaped seating area with a table. I can just imagine sitting at the helm motoring along the Mediterranean coastline, probably heading towards Santorini with my favourite people sitting next to me having a few tipples. Of course not that I would be drinking whilst at the helm. On the left of the helm station are two Simrad VHF radios and a handy place to stow your binoculars. Moving up we have the wireless charging ports for the Dockmate remote control. As you can see the helm station has two large multi-function touchscreen displays as well as the controls for the bow and the stern thruster. Underneath the helm are the ignition controls for the twin engines, a digital display for the battery monitor and controls for the genset. The comfortable helm chair is fixed to the deck and can be lowered and raised as needed. On the armrest here we also have some Simrad repeater controls. Another feature that I really like in this area is the fact that in the overhead you have a sunroof that can be opened and closed with the touch of a switch. Now as we finish having a look around the saloon area including the galley and the helm station, let's head below deck. This Steeler 59S has a total of three cabins including a full beam master cabin, a single twin cabin and a double berth forward. Access to the accommodation areas is via this spiral staircase. As you descend down into this inviting and cosy area, you are greeted with a seating area over on the port side that has a semi U-shaped arrangement. To our left is the cabinetry that houses the helm equipment. Forward is the entrance to the double berth that can be partitioned off when in use. Over to starboard is this handy work area that can be used for admin and for catching up on emails. 
The construction of the hull and double glazing throughout the boat makes this steeler suitable to be enjoyed in all seasons under any climate circumstances. Whether it's a cool night in the Norwegian fjords or a warm summer's day off the coast of Spain, the state-of-the-art insulation ensures that your stay below deck is comfortable. This excellent temperature control extends to every cabin, providing a pleasant stay no matter the weather conditions. Welcome to the forward double cabin, a sanctuary of comfort and functionality at sea. Ingeniously designed, this space utilises the hull's volume to offer ample room for rest and relaxation. The double berth is positioned for optimum stability, while ample storage solutions cater to the demands of long distance voyaging. Let's spin around and head aft towards the twin single cabin and the full beam master cabin before checking out the engine room. The first area to show you is the bathroom that is shared between the forward double cabin and the twin single cabin found opposite. I really like the fact that there is a heated towel rail in here and the designers have made excellent use of the available space when it comes to storage. All the wastewater from the planus 24 volt electric toilets is collected in the Blackwater tank, which can be emptied automatically with a pump. The wastewater from the showers on board is collected in a drain station. It's also worth pointing out that each compartment is controlled with its own independent thermostat. Moving now to the port side twin cabin, I was impressed by the intelligent space utilisation within this boat's design. The cabin outfitted with comfortable twin beds deftly balances function and luxury. A notable highlight here, for me at least, is the decent amount of wardrobe space which provides guests ample storage room. I also like the fact that these beds have reading lights. It's a minor detail but one that still requires thought and planning two things which are in abundance throughout this boat. Shifting our attention aft now, we find ourselves stepping into the full beam master cabin, a truly impressive space that personifies the luxury and spaciousness that the Steeler 59S offers. At first glance, this area feels more akin to a deluxe hotel suite than a yacht cabin, speaking volumes about the level of comfort and sophistication on board. The entire cabin is ingeniously designed to maximise the use of the yacht's generous 5.5 metre beam. It features a private ensuite bathroom fully equipped with all the amenities you'd expect aboard a high-end motor yacht. This includes a spacious shower, sink and electric toilet, all finished with the same attention to detail and quality as the rest of the yacht. Steeler Yachts offers a tailored experience where each yacht becomes an extension of the owner's personality. Whether it's the master cabin you see here or any other area on board, the customization possibilities are endless. Steeler really does focus on unique comfort solutions, space utilization and the owner's specific requirements to craft a boat that truly feels like a home on the water. As this boat is in regular use by the owner and his family, I'm not going to start opening the doors out of respect for the owner's privacy. As you can see, the internal access to the engine room is via this doorway located on the starboard side. The large vertical windows allow lots of natural light into the area. They do of course have privacy glass. We'll take one final look around this master cabin before heading into the engine room. The high-end level of sophisticated detailing in here is truly impressive. Moving now to the heart of the Steeler 59S, we descend into the meticulously arranged engine room, a testament to the blend of Dutch quality and engineering prowess. Housed in this space are the twin Cummins QSB 6.7 engines, powerful and reliable with an output of 305 horsepower, ensuring voyages are not only safe, but also incredibly efficient. Upon entering, one can't help but notice the attention to detail in the design and arrangement of the machinery. Every component is easy to access and well labelled for straightforward maintenance and of course operation. There is plenty of room to move around, a welcome feature for routine checks or servicing, ensuring that this crucial area of the boat is as user friendly as it is practical. 
One of the key elements to highlight here is the fuel system, with an ample capacity of 4,000 litres, supporting this boat's long-range nature. The fuel tanks are designed and positioned to ensure optimal weight distribution, further enhancing the vessel's stability and performance. Her innovative S-line hull means that the yacht only uses 2.66 litres of fuel per nautical mile at displacement speed. Now let's talk about the effective noise and vibration isolation in this compartment. The Steeler 59S has been meticulously designed to ensure serene comfort by minimizing disturbance from the engine room. To achieve this, each engine, pump and fan is installed with flexible hose connections. This setup significantly curbs vibrations, contributing to the overall tranquility of the yacht. Further enhancing this tranquility is a specially designed sandwich floor construction above the engine room, featuring plates with an added layer of lead. This acts as a sound barrier damping both noise and vibrations, but crowning the design the entire engine room is insulated and elegantly finished with perforated aluminium sheeting. This ingenious measure not only aids in sound absorption, but also adds to the boat's aesthetic appeal. In essence, the Steeler 59S assures a quieter, smoother cruising experience. Now that we have finished in the engine room, let us head back up to the cockpit, because I want to show the operation of the hydraulic doors to the garage and the lazarette. As we make our way back up top, let's talk about her range. When motoring at her displacement speed of around eight knots, then depending on load and external factors, such as weight, wave height, and the speed and current of the tide, then the owner of a Steeler 59S can expect a range of around 1,700 nautical miles. Another thing I wanted to talk about is customization, as it's a key feature of Steeler. Each yacht's interior is individually handcrafted, allowing owners to put their personal stamp on the layout and features this could involve choices in material finishes, appliances or unique storage solutions for equipment. It's this flexible approach that enables each Steeler 59S to reflect the distinct lifestyle and preferences of its owner, making it a one-of-a-kind vessel on the water. Now let me show you the hydraulically operated doors to the tender garage and lazarette. Inside the lazarette we find a world of space, utility and innovation. With an exceptional storage capacity, this area is perfect for housing, extra gear, tools or equipment, making it a vital asset for long-term voyages. And it's not just about the space, it's about organisation and accessibility as well, making sure everything you need is at your fingertips when you need it most. Unlike some hydraulic doors found on other boats, once you press the button, the door is shut in under a minute. I was really impressed with just how quiet the operation of this door was. Again, it's testament to the engineering prowess of Steeler. And now let's take a look at the operation of the tender garage door. Again, I'm genuinely impressed by the fact that on a boat of this size, Steeler have managed to engineer and design in a sizable garage that can lay host to a decent sized tender. One of the benefits of having a tender that can be stowed away like this is that you do not have to worry about the tender being subjected to the harsh conditions of mother nature when it is not in use. We've all heard those stories of tenders being damaged in rough weather, but this Williams tender will have no such problems, instead being neatly stowed away out of harm's way. I normally associate tender garages like this with boats with a much longer LOA. So again, Steeler, for what it's worth, you have left me feeling impressed. Something else that I would like to show you from the cockpit is the amount of storage space that there is underneath the seats in this area. You can stow lots of gear underneath these seats, whether it's life jackets, wetsuits or additional ropes. By the way, if you need any life jackets or wetsuits or any other boat related gear, don't forget to check out my maritime shop available on Amazon. You'll find all of the relevant links in the video description. Shortly after I have uploaded this video, I'll be uploading my favorite features video to my second channel, Boat Boy. 
So if you haven't subscribed to that channel yet, then you will find the relevant link at the end of this video or in the video description. So just before I sign off, I just wanna show you the view that you get when you're sat in the captain's chair. Fantastic all round view. And look at the size of that window, the view you get. The fact there's no stanchions in that window as well, it's just unbelievable. It's such a great perspective that you get when you're sat here. And obviously, whilst you're on the way, or you're navigating through tight spaces, you can also get a really good view on the aft section of the boat as well. And if you wanted to, you could open up the sunroof. So thanks for joining me aboard this stunning Steeler. I'd like to say a massive thank you to the owner of this beautiful boat for letting me come on board and shoot some footage. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't already, please don't forget to give the video a like, especially at this stage in the video, because it will really help with its reach. If you've got access to a boat that you'd like me to feature on my YouTube channel, then feel free to get in contact with me. I'll leave my contact details in the video description and I'll leave them on the screen for you now. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you on the next one. A massive thank you to my channel members for supporting my channel. If you'd like to become a member, which is basically YouTube's version of Patreon, then click on the link pinned in the comments below. I'd also like to say a big thank you to those of you who have sent me over a super thanks. From now, anybody that sends me a question with a super thanks, I'll always respond to it with a video. Don't forget to please check out my other videos and playlists. I've left some of my favorite playlists and recommended videos in front of you now, so please feel free to check them out. Until next time, fair winds and following seas. And don't forget to come and follow me on Instagram where I'll keep everybody updated in relation to what I'm doing and where I'm going.